Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to challenge myself to browse the web using only terminal browser. No mouse, no graphics, just plain text. We all have been there, clicking from tab to another, getting sidetracked by social media or email notifications, and before you know it, an hour has passed and you still stuck on the same web page. Traditionally, web browsing can be really productivity killer. With the content noise of ads, pop-ups and suggested content, it's easy to get lost in the mess. And I found an answer to this. Links. This is a text-based web browser that's perfect for those who want to browse the web without any hassle. Today, I'll show you how to install links and give you a quick tour of how to use it. Let's start. Let's focus on the Linux systems and you can install links on the Windows as well. But for Windows, um, it's a bit complicated, not bit complicated, but you have to do extra step. You have to install Sigwin, uh, which is a large collection of GNU and open source tools. And during the installation process, you have to select links from the package list. Now, once Sewing is installed, you can launch links through the Sewing terminal. But we will focus on the Linux. So for uh, Debian or Ubuntu, we are going to use apt install. For a Red Hat CentOS based systems, we'll use UM or DNF. For Arc, it's Pacman dash capital S links and for macOS brew install links if you have home installed. So as you can see on my screen, I have a Ubuntu machine. It's a fresh installation. So the first thing we need to do is to update system. Now we need to install links. And in a few moments, we will get links installed. Okay, and installations finished. So Let's clear the screen. Now that we've installed links, let's go over how to use it. To start links, open terminal and type links. Simply as that. Ta-da! When you first launch links, you will see help screen. Now, how would you operate in that browser? So there's a few shortcuts, a G for go to URL, Q for quit links, arrows to navigate up and down, uh, up and down, going to the content um, forward and backwards. Arrow to the right is go to the link. Arrow left is go back. P is for print or save the document, slash for search within a page and A for add a bookmark. So let's go to the website, press G and you can see there's a place to type in URL. So we type angry sysops.com, click enter and this is my page. So now let's press arrow down to go through the menu 
and let's say we want to see section about me. So now, once I did arrow down and it's highlighted, you see it's yellowish, where I press the arrow to the right. And under money is my page about me. As you can see, this is the content. Okay, now I can press arrow up to go back. And let's see if we go to the climber. And we see the content is there. Let's see another um, another page. Let's see what's the articles for ESXi. Arrow to the right. And we can see that under category SX we have few posts and we can continue to read. Let's see. And there's an article. So as you can see, it's quick, it's fast and it gives us information without any hassle. Let's see maybe uh, the other page. Let's go for G and let's type google.com. It asks us for a cookie, we will allow it. And that's how the Google looks like over here. So here is a search bar. And we can type angry sysops.com. Let's see. And press enter. Search Google. There you are. That's the links to my website in the Google search. Uh, let's maybe search something more generic. And there you are. So as you can see, it's easy, it's quick and without any hassle. Okay, guys, that would be it for today. Uh, I hope I introduced you to something new. I hope uh, that was interesting. As you can see, you can work in the terminal. You don't need to leave your terminal to browse the web. Uh, to quit links, just press Q and it asks you, do you want it? Why? And you are back to the terminal. So without leaving terminal, you can browse the web. I think this deserve a like. This deserve to subscribe to my channel. And um, that will help to grow my channel. It costs you nothing. You can always unsubscribe, but please do subscribe and um, click on the notification bell, not to miss another video and see you in another one very soon. Bye.